one of the most um, surprising things we do that is something that people do every day but don't perhaps think about um, from a critical perspective is that we engage in uh, walking tours at Ford's Theater. We have a program called History on Foot. We commission playwrights to write pieces for historical um, figures that are going to be portrayed by actors. So it's, it's a play. It really is a play, but it's a play walking through the city of Washington. Um, that tells a particular story that is connected to Abraham Lincoln's time in Washington, and um, especially to the end of his, of his life and of his presidency. And when we do those walks, what we encourage the teachers to do is to think about how that walk is a primary source, how the city itself is a primary source that they're analyzing and that they can use perspectives like the perspectives of the people who are leading the tours, the, char the historical characters, to, um, to enhance the learning opportunities for their students. And that therefore, every part of a field study experience or a, a, a trip is a learning opportunity. Um, and, and that's something that we've really sort of come to through working in this program. <laughs> um, you know, we knew it to a certain extent, but I, I think that our understanding of that learning now has grown. That Secretary of State William Seward had indeed been attacked in his home in Lafayette Park, stabbed nearly to death. So we similarly do a walking tour of Georgetown, so looking at different places in Georgetown to get different vantage points. There were Union officers living in the same next door to Confederate sympathizers, so looking at the same community and who was living in that community and how their different perspectives really inter, um, created an interesting mix um, during the Civil War. And so giving teachers the option of coming and looking at place as a primary source and using that to teach students about what daily life would have been like during a specific time period. And I think the walking tour lends itself well to teachers in any community because you can take your students out just in your local neighborhood and really discover your own local history through looking at places. And I do think in general that it is one of the things that teachers find both most exciting and most daunting about their experience because it's unless you experience it, it can be very hard to understand how it's going to serve the students. And so a lot, I think, of our of the teachers worry. They get very, very excited about the, the walking and, and being outside of their buildings, but they also worry a lot that their administrators or others are not going to understand what they're trying to do. And that's something that I, even in just saying this right now, I'm realizing we need to think about how to support them and, and what kinds of documentation we can provide them with um, and perhaps what we do with them on Friday to help them to feel more confident 